Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So before we get started on the reading, please excuse my voice. I have really bad allergies right now. <laughs> so if my voice sounds funny, that is why. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and get started here. All right. What is the message? Pathway. What is the message for someone out there? All right, we're using the Kipper deck. Pathway, let me see, message, uh, okay. I'm gonna do that again, tell us more about this message. Uh, false person, okay. Tell us more about this message. Wheel of Fortune, Pathway, Message, and then False Person. <clears throat> okay. The Empress. The Mature Woman actually wanted to show up. That that last card that sort of fell out like this, it was the Mature Woman. Uh, look, it's even on the back of the deck. Okay. And I, okay, she does play a role here then. Um, <clears throat> tell us more about this message. I don't know. I don't get a good feeling about this mature woman. I know the reading hasn't started. You see the moon. But I just don't get a good feeling about whoever this person is. I feel like they're trying to deceive someone. That's why false person is here. There's a mature woman who's going to present herself to be what she is not. Look, I can't make this up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, Ace of Swords represents the truth and clarity. And the Ten of Swords is a betrayal and backstab. God is revealing this in advance for someone so that you don't get deceived. There's a mature woman. So the mature woman is like a mother, mother figure type. Um, when she's represented positively, she could be a confidant, like your biggest supporter. Um, but when she's represented negatively, you gotta be careful because she could use those nurturing characteristics to kind of lure you in and trust her. And then she betrays you. Um, so, she is a false person, okay? She is going to present herself to be what she is not. The Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. And she's trying to betray you in some way. So be careful. <clears throat> now, let's look at this Wheel of Fortune here. The Four of Wands. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune represents a karmic wheel. What goes around comes back around. It could represent... Um, something that's faded and destined to happen. It could also represent something that is karmic. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Oh boy, this has happened before in the past. <clears throat> I wonder if this is someone's mother. Yes, there's someone who has a romantic interest in... Wow, I'm seeing this so clearly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's someone who has a romantic interest in you. Knight of Cups. This is their mother who's going to be pursuing you. And it's because her son has an interest in you. Um, <clears throat> I believe that this has happened to you in the past, so be careful not to repeat cycles or mistakes. You know, you want to learn the lesson the first, second time. By the third time, it becomes, if the lesson has to repeat itself by the third time, it's now a karmic lesson. It means that it's something repetitive that you've had a hard time learning. It's a repetitive lesson that will continue to present itself in your life until you learn it. Um... There's another figure here who could be a bit threatened by you. Um, the Four of Wands, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. Her son is very interested in you with the Four of Wands here. This is a, a beautiful connection that, you know, it's faded. As in, <clears throat> it was faded for the two of you to cross paths. What you choose to do with the connection is ultimately up to the both of you. But it was faded for the two of you to meet. The Four of Wands is, uh, you know, this relationship commitment card here. But... The mother, I don't know if she's just kind of like um, researching you, looking into you, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups, <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. What is she doing here? Is she looking into you, researching you? Nine of Wands. Yeah, it looks like she's... It looks like she's, um, hmm. 
Knight of Wands is a wounded warrior card. King of Swords. She might be thinking that you're going to cause trouble. Judgment. Yeah. She's trying to research you, look into you, because her son is interested in you. Tell us more about this. Look. Six of Wands, Six of Swords. The Six of Wands is victory. The Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Who is her son? I wonder if this is new love or someone from your past. Is this new love or past love? This is past love. Hold on. This is past love. <clears throat> I feel like her son still wants victory with you with the Six of Wands, wants to move things forward. The Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Her son is still very much in love with you, the Ace of Cups, and wants you back in his life, the Two of Cups. But he felt rejected, the Four of Cups. Why did he feel rejected? Why did he feel rejected? The, the world. Well, oops, why did he feel rejected? What happened here? Things ended. It, it, you know, there was a completion. The, the world is a completion of a chapter, a cycle. But he still wants to pursue this. The Seven of Pentacles is someone who's very persistent. So even though the chapter ended, he wants to continue the chapter, you know? Um, yeah. Oh, wow. I think he's a bit depressed over this. I feel like this is someone... Okay, let's look at him. Let's look at the sun, Holy Spirit. What can we know about the sun? Okay, I see. The, the, the sun here had a troublesome past. Then you came into his life, and clearly you trans you, you inspired him to transform his life. He's, going, he's showing up as a death. The death is major transformations, major endings that lead to transformations. I mean, he's putting an end to toxic habits, behavior, mentality, um, relationship, toxic bonds and connections. Like this man is doing a complete 180 in his life. He has complete, you see it for yourself, death. But what I am seeing is before you came into his life, he was very troublesome. He had a wild past. He had a wild past. I feel like he was in a lot of drama, <laughs> enabled by him. There's a lot of drama and chaos uh, surrounding this man. I feel like he was a very troubled soul. I feel like he was a very troubled soul. Yeah. And okay, it's something about you seeing that in him and you rejecting him. It's like you shut it down. I think he had a lot of enablers in his life kind of making him feel like the way that he was living his life was okay. Then you came in and you rejecting him and turning away from him, it was pretty much you making a statement that it is not okay to live your life like that. The drama, the chaos, the conflict, the competition. I mean, this man carries the energy of a six of wands. He likes to be victorious in everything that he does. He likes to conquer. Okay, it, but it looks like you were the only person who he didn't get victory with. And I don't think he's used to that. It's like you're the, you're the first uh, person who has made him feel defeated and not victorious. I feel like this is a problematic mother who has enabled her son's behavior. And he meets a woman like you who clearly he's in love with. And there's something that you did here. Whether you let him down, whether you, you rejected him, or whether you just didn't really give him a chance, you know, um, that shut him down completely. It, that gave him the rude wake-up call that he needed, okay? It, it shut him down so much that, I mean, this man's in the death energy. Like, he really is seeing the truth about his behavior, and he realizes that he has to put an end to these toxic things in his life, toxic behavior and habits. 
he feels really bad. Like the five of cups is regret, crying over spilled milk. The It's something about you, you rejecting him though. You know, it's something about you rejecting him. It, 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 it holds power. It impacted him. There's magnitude to your rejection. This man is in love with you. Ten of cups. He sees you as his happily ever after. Look, but you rejecting him, that the tower, it's like his happily ever after got taken away from him. His happily ever after ended when you left his life. Ten of Cups in the Tower, a dramatic ending. I can't make this up. He is the King of Wands and the Hangman. King of Wands is very, very attractive, very strong, confident, you know. Uh, he carries the, the spirit of a lion, um, innovative, leader, boss type. But it looks like this time he couldn't get victory. And you know who it is. It's a king of wands. A hangman is coming into an awakening. You know exactly who this is. If this is your reading. He just, I feel like you were very attracted to this man. Yeah, you found him very attractive. Knight of wands. There's a sex appeal to him. But... I think that was about it that you noticed. I think you started to see his chaotic personality. And I'm telling you, it's because he's been enabled by the people around him, especially the mother. The mother has enabled him. <clears throat> wow. His mother plays a heavy role in his life too. The three of pentacles, they work and collaborate together on, on many things. Yeah, this man is a star, like the chariot. He's very successful. And the mother has supported him in everything that he has done, which is right. You know, it's the right thing to do. Support your child. But I think this is a woman where some of the things that she has instilled in him is kind of like, like winning at all costs. That is something that, she, that he instilled, that she instilled in him, winning at all costs, which is really bad because that's why he learned some of the behavior that he has learned, you know? Um, and when he was pursuing you, he could have done it in a very reckless way. And maybe that's why you ended up turning away from him. But um, she has been his number one supporter along his journey. King of Cups. This man. Um, he's still in love. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I know it's my third time saying it, but I see it. King of Cups. He has a cup of love for you, but you're the Queen of Swords. Your sword is up. You don't want to tolerate this man at all. And I kind of, I really like what you're doing. You are the disciplinarian that he never had. You're the authority figure that he never had. This man has a mother who was always a yes man, encouraging him in everything that he did because his success was benefiting her. So he could do no wrong in her eyes. I wonder, is he a narcissist or is he narcissistic because of what he learned from the real narcissist in his life? Is he a narcissist or is he narcissistic? Is he a narcissist or is he narcissistic? Because a lot of his behavior and characteristics is learned behavior. It's learned behavior. He learned it. Temperance. Yes, this could have even felt like a twin flame connection. The temperance card is out. That's that yin and yang. Opposites attract. You know, light energy versus dark energy. There was a strong energetic connection between the two of you. I absolutely see it. And the temperance is a big compatibility card. So temperance and then strength. Right? The strength card, uh, overcoming difficulties. You cross paths with this man to help him overcome difficulties. And maybe he helped you overcome difficulties in some way, shape, or form as well. The 
the magician. So what is he doing now? Obsessing over you even more. I don't feel like he's been well ever since you left him. He's here as the magician and the devil, and that's a crazy combination. <laughs> that's a crazy duo. The magician, the the magician and the devil. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know what he's been doing. I've never seen that duo. The magician is willpower manifestation. So he's been manifesting you and doing things to be with you. But the devil is strong desires that can lead to obsessions, possessiveness, and control issues. Um, the three of cups is... That's like social gatherings, friendship groups, weddings, celebrations. Clear for the three of cups. What is this? Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something about this that's like, okay, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, I think you're going to see him again, actually. I mean, he just can't stay away from you. That's what the magician and the devil, he's trying to orchestrate something here. He's trying to make it look like it's, it's a coincidence, but it's not. I think you're going to see him at some sort of outing when you're out and about, some sort of social gathering, and he's gonna strike a conversation with you. Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. He's gonna pursue you a lot differently. I feel like in the past, he was pursuing, pursuing you as a Knight of Wands. Now though, he's pursuing you as a Page of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. So he's coming towards you much more grounded, and maybe even much more humble with the Knight of Pentacles. He's coming towards you as a page of cups. So he's going to strike the conversation with you. He, like he's stepping towards you. He's not expecting you to come forward. But he's willing to do things your way. Look, justice. He's willing to do things your way. He's, oh, this man is hurt. He just can't get over the heartbreak. Yeah, he just can't. Three of Swords, Knight of Swords. He just can't get over it. And he wants to reconcile with you. Six of Cups. You're going to see him at some sort of social place. Social gathering or when you go out and about. And he's going to strike a conversation. Page of Cups. That's him initiating a conversation with you. Knight of Pentacles. That's him. He's, his energy is going to be a lot different. The Knight of uh, Pentacles are people who are much more delicate, diligent hardworking, devoted, a lot more stable. He's coming towards you in a very humble manner. Not like in the past where he was hoping that you would just kind of throw yourself at him because he's attractive, you know, appealing. He noticed that that didn't work on you. Now, the mother here is at crossroads. Because she knows that her son isn't happy and it's affecting her bond with her son. The Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. This is a family that has a lot of money. The Ten of Pentacles, a wealthy family, business, empire, generational wealth, that sort of thing. Um, She was really hoping that all of these, all of the money and material things would, would be the only thing that her son needs. She was really hoping that her son wouldn't ever fall in love, you know, but he got, he got struck by Cupid. She was really hoping that her son would kind of see their life as everything that he needs and that he doesn't have to go and find love. But then you came into his life and Cupid, you know, struck him with that bow and arrow. <laughs> and, um... She doesn't know how to fulfill her son emotionally. She knows how to fulfill him materialistically, superficially. You're the only one who has the power to fulfill him emotionally. So what she can't give him, you can. And, we, and that's probably why she's coming forward to you. You're going to receive pathway. This is what's coming towards you. His mother's coming towards you. You're going to receive communication from him, from her. But with false person, I don't know if she's going to do it anonymously or if she's going to tell you that it's really her. Clarify false person. Six of Pentacles. The sun. Why is she why is false person here? I 
I think she was the person behind the scenes causing the trouble in the relationship. There's something about this where it's like she knows that if she can keep you in his life, he'll be happy. And then that'll make her happy. There's something about this where I feel like this woman works behind the scenes. She's showing up as false person because she was the one who had a hand in something here. She works behind the scenes, but then hides her hand. You see how this woman's gifting people? It could be that she gives people money to, to do dirty work, to do things on her behalf. The sun is exposing it. The sun is light. It's illumination. Okay. The sun is light and illumination. There's something about this where I feel like this woman... She likes for her son to get his way because then he'll comply with her. The, the, you know what I'm saying? She knows that her son is wild. She knows that her son is wild and untamable. But when he's happy, everyone else is happy. So to keep him happy, she likes to feed you him in a way. It's like you're his calm. You're who gets him on his on his best behavior and then it benefits everybody there was, she had a hand in doing some things here she did the seven of cups i'm trying to uncover what it is it's going to be different for everyone but it's like if she can get you to stay in his life that makes him happy so then that makes everybody happy so there were some things that she was doing behind the scenes to keep you kind of Keep you with him. Keep the two of you together. But I can only imagine how that affected you. There was probably some sort of sabotaging. Sabot sabotaging you in some way, shape, or form. Two of swords. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. Look, seven of swords is someone who's lying, cheating to win, manipulating, doing things behind closed doors. Seven of swords. It'll come out. The sun is here. Whatever part she played, what role she played here, you know, because if her son doesn't know how to behave himself, you don't have to be with him. But it seems like a situation where she kind of tried to sabotage you so that you would have to be with him in some way, shape or form. That's what I see her doing. It's going to come to light. Trust me. But you're going to receive communication from her. Look, it'll come to light. The high priestess is here. The high priestess is all knowing. It'll come to light with the message. You're going to receive some sort of communication. Tell us about this communication. Yeah, page of swords, communication from a distance. So it could be a phone call, text, email, letter. Page of swords is a big communication card. Tell us more about this communication. Eight of swords. Tell us more about this communication. There's something. Oh, you're going to be stuck in your head. Eight of swords. Eight of wands is fast communication. Eight of swords, though, is when you're in a mental prison. It could be someone telling you what she has done. Let me see. Again, this woman has a way of getting people to do what she wants. Like she'll pay you to carry, to do something for her, you know, pay you to do her dirty work. I think someone's going to leak the secret. It's either a person who she has paid to do something on her behalf who feels really bad and they're going to come and tell you about it. Or it could be her directly. It could be her directly coming to talk to you. Um... I feel like most likely it's someone who she has paid to do something on her behalf who feels really bad and is coming to tell you about it. This person feels really bad. Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. They're like, nope, I got to tell the truth. Um, this is someone who works around you. Eight of Pentacles is work. So maybe they work with you. Maybe they, they assist you in some way, but they like you. They find you very pleasant with the full card here. They want, like, they like you, you know. Um, 
I don't feel like it's in a romantic way, but like just in a genuine platonic way, this person likes you. They see you as someone, there's something about you that's very, very refreshing, rejuvenating. Um, but it's going to be exposed. <laughs> this woman, it's a mess. It's a mess. This woman uses people to get what she wants. The enabling, the way she enables her son like that. She did it because there was something that she wanted from him. If I make him happy, we'll all be happy. If I make him happy, he'll do what I want, you know? She uses people like tools. The lovers is here. And I feel like she definitely had played a role in what happened between the two of you, the Seven of Swords. But... I feel like you, the Seven of Swords is you. I feel like you pretty much left this connection. You could have fled, escaped. <laughs> Look at how the woman is sneaking off. I bet you, you were like, okay, I feel the soulmate connection, but it's too much. This is too much for me. And it's like, you just kind of left it alone. And he's devastated. And she's now worried because if he's not happy, she's not, you know, no one's going to be happy. Okay. But I do see with the death. I mean, I feel like he's really trying to make some changes in his life. Okay, so you played your part in his life very well. Um, perhaps you were supposed to inspire change in him. And indeed, with that death card, it does represent change. So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you're interested in connecting with me more, I am here for you. You're welcome to check out the description box. All of my information will be there. You can book and schedule a private phone call reading. You can make a donation. You can submit a prayer request and all of those good things. I'll list them in the description box. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.